Sequences and depreciation. Depreciation is the reduction in value of an asset over time. It's especially important for businesses and in tax situations because the amount that an asset became worth less this year is a tax deduction in a lot of situations. The um, value of the item eventually gets down so low that it's considered, considered to no longer be worth anything to the business. It's not an asset anymore. And at that point, it's said to be written off. You can keep using it. You just can't keep on claiming its reduction in value because it's already kind of should have been replaced. There's another couple of different ways that you can depreciate assets. And we'll look at two of them here. One is flat rate depreciation. Now, this is an arithmetic reduction. That means it drops by the same amount each year. And our definition here is the item reduces in value by either a fixed amount or usually a percentage of its purchase price, which is a fixed amount. And because that's a fixed amount each year, it's arithmetic reduction. So our recurrence relation model, of course, V0 is our initial purchase price. And our rule is going to be Vn plus 1 is Vn minus D. Now, D is our common difference. We use a capital D. So we're saying where D equals. Now, this will be the percentage R, the percentage uh, depreciation rate, over 100 to get it to a decimal, multiplied by V0, which was the initial price. So I'll put a little definition for R there. That is the percentage depreciation rate. And this is our big important stuff, so I'll pop that in a cute little red box. So this gets our recurrence relationship rule. And this tells us what, how we get D. It's just a percentage of the original amount and a reminder that this is the percentage. So for example, a car was purchased for 2400, oh, sorry, 24,000 in 2014. The car depreciates by 20% of its purchase price each year. Model it with a recurrence relationship and find out in what year the car will be written off. That is, have a value of zero according to its depreciation schedule. So we need to work out the percentage of the amount. D is R on 100 times our initial value. R, the percentage depreciation rate, is 20. Divide by 100 times our purchase price. This is just finding 20% of the purchase price. So we're losing $480 of value each year. No, 4,800, because guess who missed off a zero? Oops. So now that you've got our common difference, our um, recurrence relation model, V0, is 2,400. 24,000, I'm sorry. I'm missing zeros all over the place today. And Vn plus 1 is... Vn minus 4,800. That's our recurrence relationship. And then remember to find out how many years before we hit zero, just use the recurring pattern in the graphics calculator. I'll manually zoom out. Sorry about bashing the camera here. So enter in your starting value. 
hit enter, minus 4,800, and then count the years. Year 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it takes 5 years. We were in 2014, 2015, 16, 17, 18, 19. The car will be written off in 2019. I realize there's two meanings of writing off a car. This means just that it has zero asset value to the business. Okay. The other type of depreciation that we're looking at is reducing balance depreciation. And this is a geometric sequence. And this is a percentage reduction of the previous value rather than of the purchase price. And so, of course, the amount that's coming off the value will be changing because the percentage value will alter. And so our definition here So it's reducing by a percentage of the previous year's value. So of course that's geometric reduction. And it's very similar to compound interest, but of course it's a reduction in value rather than increase in value. So our recurrence relation model that of course we have to do, V0 is our initial value of the asset. Our rule is the same as percentage change, Vn plus 1, is capital R times Vn, where our capital R is our common ratio. And it's calculated by doing 1 minus the percentage interest, or sorry, the percentage depreciation on 100. So you remember we learned this when we did percentage change, that this is just percentage reduction, and that R is the percentage little r depreciation. So this is our little r value here, 7% per annum. And this formula calculates the common ratio. And each term is just multiplied by the common ratio. I'll again, put that in a nice friendly box because that's the important bit. So for example, model the value of office furniture with a purchase price of 6,900, depreciating at a reducing balance rate of 7% per annum. So it's said reducing balance, so you know it's geometric. You want to calculate the common ratio, R, 1 minus the percentage on 100, 1 minus 7 on 100. You can grab your calculator for that, or you can work it out in your head. 1 minus 7 divided by 100, 0 0.93. So that's the common ratio. And then V0 is our starting value. Vn plus 1 is 0 0.93 times Vn. And that's our reducing balance um, depreciation. You could, if you wanted, then multiply by 0.93 and keep going year after year and watch the value reduce.